On today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Rambo John J. Rambo survival version. Depicted from First Blood, Rambo First Blood, this time he's fighting for his life. This is the second Rambo figure that Spots had to look at. And actually, I want to thank one of my viewers for sending this my way. It was very nice enough to uh, not only pick this up, but to ship it over to me to have a look at. Looks like Rambo does come with several accessories, several different firearms, walkie-talkie, and knife, as well as what looks to be a knife on a, uh, on a spear, a homemade spear. On the back of the package, <clears throat> the read-up says, John J. Rambo, an ex-Green Beret, haunted by memories of Vietnam, is searching for an old friend he served with in the war. Instead, Rambo crosses paths with an overzealous small-town sheriff who is looking for a fight. Unjustly imprisoned, Rambo escapes and becomes the target of a massive manhunt. Rambo must use all his cunning combat and survival skills to stay alive and outwit his pursuers. And actually, I really like this back uh, this back picture here with Rambo's iconic survival knife. A round of, uh, of bullets going on there as well. Dog tags. What I am going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at John J. Rambo's survival version. More heading your way, guys. Stay tuned. With John Rambo, again, the accessories you'll get, you'll get yourself a standard knife. Nicely painted, even right down to the fact that they've got this tiny little rope strapping around the handle of the blade. If you are worried certainly about losing this knife, fear, fear not. Rambo does also have a side holster right underneath his, I'm going to say parka. Um, you can slide it just underneath and he's got his blade intact. He has also a very similar enough blade attached to the end of this spear, <clears throat> which is a almost like just a, a stick, and he's got that knife tied around to the edge of that, or the end of that uh, makeshift spear. Again, just a really nice touch. I would say really from looking at it at a distance, it looks like a stick. It looks like something you would have grabbed from outside, scaled appropriately enough to Rambo but just a really nice, nice touch. The biggest problem you'll be plagued with by getting a figure like this is just really what accessories you put in his hand. This is certainly a top contender, this spear. Accessories also that come with John Rambo, you get yourself a walkie-talkie. Not as heavily painted, but being the nature of what the walkie-talkie is, this is black with the silver on the sides, little levers and dials up at the top. You also get yourself a pistol, silver pistol with a nice brown handle. You get yourself a interchangeable hand, which I'll talk about in a second. And lastly, you'll get yourself, I'm going to say it's an M16, I'm hoping I'm right, but uh, it doesn't have a lot of coloring, Pr primarily it's only the straight black. But the wear that they've put in the, where the actual handle and everything is, definitely gives it more of a used, worn piece of uh, artillery. It's got the rubber strapping, the plastic uh, strapping there. But it, it's a nice piece. Now, the interchangeable hand. Um, the interchangeable hand is really just a more closed version to the one that's kind of already on his arm. I guess this would be his right arm. It's, I mean, you know what, you could take still his knife, and I think you could still hold his knife, although I guess the, the, the truth is it's going to be a little looser. But I don't know if it's enough for me to want to change this hand out. Um, I mean, this the hand that's that he's packaged with having on is better suited for things like his handgun. Um, you know, obviously the rifle as well is better suited to have in this hand rather than the more closed off hand. So while I appreciate that NECA has included it, 
I'm just one to say, you know what, I'm just going to keep this particular hand on and uh, just call it a day. I mean, I don't, I don't feel the need to change this out at all. Um, taking the rifle out of his hand, though. The figure as a whole, and I really want, I should have touched base on this first before we had looked at accessories and everything else, but the figure as a whole is far better, far better than the Wave 1 uh, First Blood Rambo that we got. You probably have heard not only my reviews, but other reviews of that particular figure, and a lot of people kind of said the same thing. Um, one thing that, in fact, all the, all the problems I had with the Wave 1 uh, Rambo have been improved with survival uh, John Rambo here. Uh, problem number one, I didn't like the face. I didn't like that grimacing kind of Stallone uh, mouth uh, open. Um, it, it just, it looked off. Having it even in the closed mouth that we've got right here, it looks a lot better. And it looks more like Rambo, surprisingly, than the first wave did. Problem number two, the neck, which I thought was, it was a bad problem with the first figure. The neck seemed so short and so stumpy that it looked like his head was just sticking above his shoulders. Uh, NECA has definitely improved it, definitely by far. I mean, not only have they given us a better sculpt neck, but they, it also looks as if the neck is longer. And I don't know if it's just between the neck and the face, this new head sculpt, but it looks like everything is properly proportioned. Um, also, and this is something that I'm not going to actually take this off, but I want to just comment on this. You can remove to some extent this extra piece. Uh, on the front, it looks like it is fully finished. On the back, aside from it looking like it's glued to his back, if you don't mind prying that off, you could really just have the same figure except I think the original figure had the bandana, but you could really have the same sort of figure, and it doesn't look like he's as chunky as the other original Rambo was. I think I also didn't like the plastic or the paint that was done on the arms. It just looked a little more synthetic. Again, really fixed it with this particular figure. The blood on the one, the one arm, you can even see the cut around this, again, this poncho, this uh, piece that he's wearing over top. You can see the blood on the side. I mean, it's just, this piece right here is such a beautifully sculpted piece. It looks dingy and it looks like it's been soaked and covered in dirt and blood, but it's done so well, so incredibly well. I wish there was probably an easier way to t just, if you could just take this off altogether, because I might be inclined to take it off. You know what? It depends. I mean, I could easily just leave it on. It looks like the rope could peg into the side, and you can see that my ropes just come unpegged. But I mean, I'm, that doesn't bother me at all. I'm easily just fine to leave that as such, and not even worry that this has to be pegged back into place. Uh, the hair, though, the hair, the face, vast improvement. Vast improvement over the original Rambo. And truth be told, Really, by the measure of where that first Rambo was set at, I had no ankling to pick up additional Rambo figures. Having seen this figure, on the other hand, this has really reinstated my interest in picking up future Rambo figures. Rambo First Blood Part 2, for me, is definitive Rambo. And seeing what NECA's doing with this figure makes me very hopeful for future Rambo figures. It's almost a shame, and I almost wish we could have just omitted the very first Rambo figure for how much better this figure turned out to be. On an articulation level, well, John Rambo does have a ball-jointed head. does move up and down, left and right. Hinged and, so hinged and socket shoulders, so they move out. Uh, the parka that he's wearing does not hinder any sort of the movement in the shoulders. Shoulders still move forward, back. He has a bend... Bend in the elbow. I bend this one because this one seems like it's a little stiffer for me. Uh, bend at the elbow. It also does rotate. Rotation and hinge in the in the hand, where you can rotate the hand all the way around. Now, he does still have the upper torso ball joint. Now, you're not going to be able to move it as much because he's got this this extra poncho on, this, uh, this 
Oh, actually, you know what? There you go. It doesn't look like this piece is glued on. It was probably just affixed a little bit more. So really, if you wanted to, you could take this. You know what? I'm going to see if we could take this off right now just so I can actually show you guys. I'm going to take the head off, which I'm probably sure... You know what? I wonder if I could even just take it off without taking off the head. I might not even... Oh, there we go. There we go. It was just unpegged. We're just going to take this whole this whole poncho off to show you guys. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. I'm convinced they probably have used the same torso, the same legs. Something, though, by just changing the head makes this figure work. And you can see, and I really wish I had my other one. I don't know where I put my other John Rambo, but even if they had utilized the exact same pieces, somehow this figure works 10 times better than what we got with the original Rambo. Especially cool that you can take this off too. I'm just gonna put it back on. Um, I mean, I can't say enough. I can't say enough good things about this figure. It took I, and Spot really like dis disliked that first John Rambo figure. I did not like it. This reinstates all hopes, all interest I have in collecting future Rambo figures. So to to Neca, thank you, thank you for for reapproaching this figure and just doing some of the changes that need to be changed to give us a definitive Rambo. To me, still the definitive Rambo is Rambo First Blood Part 2. A shirtless Rambo, you know, with the blood and the red bandana, to me, definitive. But still, this is a solid, solid figure. If you're a fan of Rambo, definitely would consider picking him up. John Rambo, I'm going to give him a 9.5. Well worth it, and it goes to show that approaching a figure a second time around definitely makes the difference. Uh, today's Toy Spot, and once again, thank you to the viewer that was nice enough to send this my way. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA uh, Rambo, John Rambo in Survival. So he's wearing this extra piece here. Don't just overlook the fact that he's got this piece. He's got the new head sculpt, which is a vast improvement. Stay tuned as you always do, guys. Spot's got so many more spots heading your way. And as always, I'll see you next time.